I'm Paul Woosnam, I'm the franchisee for South of Christchurch all the way through to Timmery. Being a franchisee for Snap-on is, um, is great. You, you, have a, you have a huge support structure behind you. Um, it's, it's, you are running your own business, you are the master of your own destiny, but you've also got 100, 100 180 or people behind you. So if you have a query, a problem, there's always someone to ring. So you, your own business, out on your own entirely, with a huge cushion and a safety net behind you. So if you get into trouble, there's someone there to give you a hand. If you have a query, there's someone to give you a hand. If you want to have a go at asking some advice, there's somebody there. Um, not just within Snap-on, but you've got all the other franchisees around us. And because you have your own dedicated territory, you're not encroaching on each other's areas. I've, um, I've put a second van on the road. At the end of the day, I work for myself. I do want a bit of time for myself. So I thought, right, what can we do and how can we expand? So I've carved a chunk of my customers off and put them on my second van. Um, we've enabled me to grow my existing area um, and split between the two. So there's now two of us doing that. Um, Snap-on will encourage you to involve your family because you're investing in it with your time and financially. Uh, at the same time, um, I know when we started, Snap-on uh, had as much time with me as they did with Nikki to make sure that Nikki knew exactly what we were doing, where we were heading towards, what we're investing in and what we were looking to do. My name is Nikki Woosnam and I'm Paul's wife. Paul loves running his Snap-on business. He is very passionate about what he does. He's got a great background in retail. Uh, he understands customer service. He knows how to deliver the perfect service to his customers. And that's what drives him, seeing his customers happy, seeing them walk off with the tools that are gonna help them improve their businesses. That's what really gets him going in the morning, knowing that he can go out there and help his customers to do their jobs. When I, when I first bought the franchise, the first part of it for me was um, a quick trip to the States for two weeks. Um, it's a long flight for us, so we go a couple of days early and then there's a week of, of solid training in the States. Uh, some long days that take you from you know, not even want to say your name in public at the beginning of it to almost standing up singing and dancing at the end of the week. It's, they get you overcome all your fears, your, your nerves, your concerns, and the training is really, really good. And the training team are excellent. Um, we then came back, um, kicked off straight onto the truck and I had three weeks ride along with um, my sales development manager here in New Zealand and then we had a couple of days with the diagnostic specialist um, in the weeks after that. The Snap-on have a fantastic system, it's called the program. Everybody knows it as the Snap-on program. From, from day one at, at training, it's kind of drummed into you that this is the best way to operate. It's worked for multiple years, so don't try and reinvent the wheel when the wheel's ticking along nicely. To become a successful franchisee, in, in my opinion, you need to be hardworking, dedicated, uh, be willing to go that extra mile for your customers, and just be the first point of call for everybody that needs a tool. Uh, for any potential franchisees, I'd say don't be put off by the perceived cost and the perceived investment you have to make. Um, just ask the questions at Snap-on, talk to them, watch the videos, um, hop on the truck with a franchisee for the day and actually see what we do.